un quick tour. President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. On. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Per our schedule today, the chamber will hear testimony of a witness, namely through TCW 894, in camera. Ms. Chi Siu Huang, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Greffier, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Toutes les parties au procès sont présentes aujourd'hui. Mr. Nunchi is present Nunchi in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his rights to be present in the courtroom. Il renonce à the waiver has been delivered to the greffier. Witness who is to testify today, that is to TCW894, has uh, taken an oath, Après rather took an oath uh, yesterday before the Iron Club statue. The witness has Mr. Mung Sowan as her duty counsel, and they are Moon both ready to be called by the chamber. President, chef. thank you. President, je vous remercie. The chamber now decides on a request by Nguyen Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia dated 14 January 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to be present at the 14 January 2016 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 14 January 2016, which notes that Nguyen Chi today has chronic back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audio-visual means. The chamber instructs the heavy unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chia can follow this applies to the whole day. And before we commence hearing testimony of witness to TCW, 894, the Chamber would like to inform the parties uh, the following. The trial Chamber has received uh, additional submissions concerning the in-camera hearings of two witnesses from the co-prosecutors as well as the uh, last uh, communication from the international co-investigating judge. The trial chamber and parties received a courtesy copy of the uh, OCP request calling for uh, reasons provided by the international co-investigating judge to hear testimonies of two TCWs 894 and 938 in closed session. The OCP further asked the trial chamber to allow parties to make their submission in this regard. Thus, the trial chamber decides to send the uh, Memorandum of Understanding from the ICIJ to the uh, concerned parties, and parties will be granted the uh, opportunity to make their oral submissions. Parties will receive this uh, memo in the next 10 minutes. 
For that reason, the trial chamber will adjourn until 10 o'clock this morning in order to allow the parties to prepare and make their oral submissions. In addition, the trial chamber will also hear oral responses to the request by Q. Sampon in reference to document E372-1 after we hear the oral uh, submissions concerning the in-camera hearings of the two witnesses. And for that reason, we will adjourn now and uh, return at uh, 10 o'clock, so that parties will have sufficient opportunity uh, to prepare their oral uh, submissions. And security uh, personnel, you uh, may take Give some pawn to the uh, waiting room downstairs and have him returned before 10, before 15 past 10. The court is now in recess.